Uh, my name is Ben Kolbeck. I'm a studio instructor at Guitar Center Chico. I teach guitar, bass, and ukulele. I started playing music around eight or nine years old. I started taking classical guitar lessons, and I didn't really become passionate about it or start really putting work into it until about 13 or 14, when I got into my uh, dad's music collection and started developing my own taste in music. I was listening to a lot of Beatles, uh, Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, sort of cutting my teeth on the blues a lot, and trying to learn a lot of it by ear, even though I could sight read a bit at that age. I was trying to learn a lot of it by ear, which is how the greats, um, or my greats I should say, um, learned their skills. The problem I think with modern, um, or modern learning with, with music is they're taking the ear out of the equation. You know, you're, you read the tab and you play the tab, but are you truly listening to what you're doing? Are you analyzing what you're doing? I like to try and um, treat music more like a language. I started giving lessons uh, when I was 18, when I moved back to England to, uh, to study at university. I was helping some of my fellow students there with their courses, particularly in, um, in ear training and sight reading, little things like that. And I was teaching kids at that time too, teaching privately from my apartment. And then I got affiliated with a college called uh, Access to Music. And there I would uh, teach through them as well, run Saturday youth academies and shows and things like that. I'm British on paper, my parents are both English, but I grew up in Spain. I did get a huge flamenco influence from, from where I'm from, the south coast of Spain, where the flamenco guitar originates. And that definitely, um, you can definitely hear that in my style most of the time, I think. But I'm, I'm as much that as I am an American blues and rock guitarist, in a way. Just with a different accent. <laughs> what is the expectation you have of your students? Um, it depends on the students, you know, I pride myself on being able to customize the lesson to the student. You know, you can't have one set curriculum or one set path with everyone, especially not when you're teaching, you know, age ranges of 7 through 65. You've got to, you've got to adapt yourself to the different students. Some people just want to play their favorite songs, and that's okay. You don't have to know everything about what you're playing to have some fun on guitar or whatever your instrument may be. But um, sometimes you, you can get shown a path that'll make things a lot easier for you. For example, you can learn and memorize you know, 20 odd chords, your basic chords, a few more fancy ones. But if you learn how to construct those chords through theory, there's no need to memorize anything. You can figure them out. So although some areas of music can be daunting to bedroom guitarists, it's actually an easier path once you break through the initial sort of scariness. What's the greatest joy you have to teach? Um, seeing my students thrive, probably. That's the greatest thing. If you take someone who started with me on the grand opening weekend at Guitar Center in Chico, uh, and many of them are still with me now, seven months later, they're, they are guitarists, they're musicians now. They're thinking like musicians and they're playing like musicians. When they came to me, they knew nothing. And uh, it's just a, it's night and day compared to the start. I love that, I love that contrast between what you can do if you really put the work in. I am. Rock Show is a program um, that we offered here at Guitar Center Chico. It's a program where we get kids of the same sort of uh, age and skill set and put them together into bands and give them their first experience of working in a band, of putting songs together, of um, performing in front of people. And so they rehearse together for two hours a day throughout a week and then they perform in the store on Saturday in front of their parents and friends and the general public. It's a great learning curve for kids of that age. I wish I had something, um, that kind of outlet at that age too. If you came to Guitar Center looking for um, flamenco lessons or learning how to sight read, anything in that sort of um, nylon string area, I'd definitely be your teacher. I've, I've been there and I've been through that process.